Hey, moron! Hey, moron! Duh! <laughs> look, look at me! I'm the woo water boy, duh! Well, good morning, good people and Eagles, 49ers, and Washington fans. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. He's kind of mad at me because I've been gone for a week. And uh, as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great week, great day, and going to have a great weekend as we sit here I believe we are only 40 days away, 40 days away from the first kickoff of the 2024 season. And I don't know about you, but I'm happy. I'm happy. Well, I'm happy about football being here and that we can actually start talking about. Because we sitting practice. here, I supposed to be the franchise player, we and we're in here about, talking about, about practice. practice. Now, as far as our schedule goes right now, uh, today, 10 o'clock, it's supposed to be the opening ceremonies of training camp and we talking about practice at 11 o'clock so 11 o'clock on the west coast which is two o'clock on the east coast which means they'll be off the field about 4 4 30 uh which will be i will be actually on the road again i just can't wait to get on the road again you know i i'm constantly rolling but uh shout out to gina's daughter who graduation party is tonight and can't wait to see her and wish her well as she gets ready to go to college um, as well as today is Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction Gig Economy's birthday. That's right. It is my, it's my boy. It's my boy's birthday. And I'm excited. I can't believe how long ago it was ago that I saw the, his head just crowned right on out. I, it's just, it was a beautiful thing. So as we get here with the Dallas Cowboys, um, Jerry Jones famously said, I want to see some more leaves fall off the tree. Um, at this point, the only thing that's left to fall from the tree is to cut the tree down and let the sucker fall because we've gotten all the quarterbacks have been squared away. We talked about all the quarterbacks that needed to get paid this off season. Trevor Lawrence got 55 million. Trevor Lawrence. Tua, he got his at 53.1. And then Jordan Love, he's at 55 with more guaranteed money. And Joe Burrow's at 55, and we know the, the range. The 50 million is the new hottie right now. Um, of course, there will be other guys that will probably get extensions at some point. Josh Allen, you know, Pat Mahomes, they'll probably redo something with his. But even they took care of Matthew Stafford, who was going to do a hold in. So now we know what the numbers look like. We've been given the snow job of, you know, if we sign Dak and if we sign Micah and CD, that's going to take 70% of our salary cap. No, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Because we can look at teams that have multiple players that are the top five in being paid. We can look at the Eagles, who have two wide receivers that are in the top ten, as well as their quarterback as well as one of the top paid running backs that was a free agent. We can look at Miami, who's got a top 10 cornerback, number eight, Jalen Ramsey, who was a free agent, excuse me, a trade that they made for. You can look at Waddle and Tariq Hill, and now Tua getting paid. And somehow they have about the same amount of cap space as we have right now. So... It's not a matter of not being able to do it, or maybe it's a matter of not knowing how to do it. That, that could be the case. And I'm beginning to lean and, and wondering if the NFL is sending the same information to the Cowboys that they do everybody else. Because the Cowboys pay the players the least in the NFL. You look at all these teams that spent hundreds of millions of dollars this offseason. The Cowboys are the outlier that are still broke ass and haven't spent any money. We need to get this stuff together. So um, I say CD Lamb sitting out. Maybe it helps some of the younger guys. Brandon Cooks was looking really good. Jalen Tolbert is looking really nice. Um, I'm hearing that Jalen Brooks may be the guy who may be the odd man out right now that he's going to need to step up and that's a, a game time favorite right there in Jalen Brooks um, 
Mozzie has put his weight, some of his weight back on. He's about up about 17 pounds, uh, playing a three technique and looking much, much better from what we hear. And hopefully that continues. Um, I can't wait to get to today's practice. Uh, they'll be off. Uh, oh, no, they won't. They will be no practice on Monday. They'll be practicing on Sunday. Uh, so we're going to have four practices in a row. And um, then they're going to be off on Monday. Then they'll practice on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No practice on Friday. And then Saturday next week is the big camp back together celebration. Uh, with 11 a.m. practice, Sunday, 11 a.m. practice. Oh, wait a minute. Am I looking at the wrong? Wow, I'm looking at the wrong schedule here, people. I'm an idiot. That's last year's. Wow. Okay. I'm an idiot. Let me double check this because schedule release. Yeah, why is this? This is kind of, check this out. It comes up. Wow, okay, this is, let's see if I can put it up on the screen. Look at this. Okay, they got me. They got me. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Check this out, y'all. I'm sitting there thinking I'm crazy. Okay. So you see, training camp presented by United Airlines, American Airlines, right? I click on daily practices. Daily training camp practice release. And I'm going down through here. Okay, so here's the schedule, right? But if you look up here in the corner, 2021. Why is this? Look at that. Am I wrong? Am I the idiot here? Daily practice schedule. They get... Okay. Let's go back down here. So... Da, 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 Back Together Weekend will be next weekend. So, here's our practice schedule. Thursday, practice... Okay, put your... Okay, so, Saturday, the 27th. Cowboys back together weekend, opening ceremonies. Okay, so that's today. Um, back together weekend on Sunday with practice. No practice on Monday. Practice on Tuesday. Practice Wednesday. Practice Friday. Practice Saturday. I fly in on Sunday, the off day, <clears throat> and we'll be there and practice on the 5th, the 6th, Thursday with the scrimmage against the Rams. Friday's practice. They're off on Saturday. And then Sunday, we will be at the game. And then come uh, Monday, we will um, we will be flying back home on Tuesday. So that's where we are with that. So let's see this morning. I got to go get my hair cut before I hit the road. Um, what they have to say about the Jordan Love situation and their contract. Song, better news for the locals there in Green Bay, especially when you consider earlier this week it was reported Jordan Love wasn't going to practice until he got a contract extension with the Packers. Expect to see him at practice today. Love and the Pack agreeing to a new record tying deal, four years, $220 million for the 26th overall pick from 2020, $55 million per season. That ties for the best in league history. Here's Adam Schefter who broke the news. And the two sides had made enough progress that they knew they were close enough to the finish line and the Packers really wanted Jordan Love back at practice and under contract. It was a double whammy and so the two sides have been going back and forth all week long. But essentially they didn't want him to miss any more time and they knew they were going to sign him and they knew what the numbers were. The breakthrough might have come when Trevor Lawrence did a deal that averaged $55 million earlier this summer because before then the Packers could say to Jordan Love, you haven't accomplished what Joe Burrow has at this point in your career. Hmm. Joe Burrow also at $55 million. But once Trevor Lawrence got done, 
then Jordan Love can say, well, I've accomplished what Trevor Lawrence has, and that's there you go. why he is now tied with Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence as the highest paid quarterback on an average annual basis with that deal now being agreed to. Four years, $220 million. That's a lot of money. The money was flying. Here's some reasons why Jordan Love got paid. Last year, he had nine games with multiple pass scores and zero interceptions. That led the NFL. Only Packers quarterback with more in any season, Aaron Rodgers. Love threw 10 picks in the first 10 weeks of the season with a total QBR of 48. But from week 11 on, he was a completely different QB, just one pick. And his 75 QBR, that led yep. the NFL. I'm going to be the crit uh, the. Uh, the the contrary, the, uh, whatever. I, I'm the, the the contrary guy. Um, the question is to me because you really only have one year worth of work where you have those nine games where no interceptions, but then you have those other games where there were ten. So the question is, did the light switch just go on and now he is going to be that guy from now on, or was that just he got into a hot streak? And we don't know. But the Packers are willing to say. Well, he's all we got, and this is worth taking the risk. Well, finally, Love stayed hot in the playoffs, knocking off the Cowboys in Dallas by a lot. He had a total QBR of 99, which is based on a 1 to 100 scale. That, the highest in a playoff game since it was first tracked in 2006 for the 26th and overall that was pick Dexville. in 2020. 21 slots prior to a Tonga Valoa. Not that... They weren't treating him nice at the bank already, but the direct deposit is about to get a lot bigger. He and the Dolphins, four years, $212.4 million for the wow. fifth overall pick in 2020. Here is Shefty with more. During the first two days of the Miami Dolphins training camp, Tua Tungavailoa was a limited or non-participant in practice. But on Friday, he was a full participant, and that was the sign that the two sides were closing in on an agreement that got done later in the day, clearly to a new, when he took the practice field on Friday, that that agreement would be hammered out, and now, in fact, it has. Tua Tungavailoa is the richest player in Dolphins franchise history. Dan Marino's career earnings in Miami were a total of $51 million. Tua Tunga Bailoa now will make an average a of year. $53.1 wow. million dollars per year on his four-year extension. And the biggest contract dilemma that hung over the Miami Dolphins franchise throughout the offseason and into the start of training camp now has been resolved. Tua Tunga Bailoa gets done his four-year extension. It's time for the Dolphins to get their focus NFL quarterback, and this time it's Packer yes. signal caller Jordan Love, our senior NFL insider Jonathan Jones, reporting that Love is getting a four year 200. All right, so the market is definitely set. Um, you can say what you want about Dak Prescott, but everybody's in the $50 million range. You can't look and say that Trevor Lawrence, that uh, Jordan Love, or um, Tua have done more than Dak Prescott. So now the question is will the Cowboys? Get Dak Prescott's deal done, $55.5 million, $4.5 million less, and he's the highest paid, and move on from this? Or will they come up with more excuses? I wish I knew, but hold on to your hats. Let's see what they do. All right, good people. I'm going to go get my hair cut because it's just kind of crazy and don't want to go to a graduation party and um, – to Oxnard looking like, uh, you know, uh, Chewbacca. Although Chewbacca, is, he, his stuff is slicked back real good. All right, good people, we will see you on the road. Peace out.